Okay. Uh, karibu sana kwenye hii video. Na watu wengi sana wananiuliza kuhusiana na kufungua jinsi ya kufungua account kupitia kupitia binary.com. So nitajaribu kwenda faster faster na the easiest way unaweza kaenda hapo kwenye description kuna linki uka click hiyo linki moja kwa moja utapelekwa kwenye vitu kama vifuatavyo. So au njia nyingine unaweza kupita kupitia uh, website ya Fpesa Tanzania so utaandika fpesatanzania.com baada ya kumeshaandika fpesatanzania.com au utabonyeza enter so baada ya kuwa umefungua katika Fpesa Tanzania uh, utaenda kwenye kipengele cha kufungua account sasa uh, ifo hujafungua kutakuwa na maelekezo ambayo yanakuelekeza wewe kwamba katika kufungua account tuna aina tatu za account Okay. Kuna synthetic account, kuna standard account na kuna advanced account. So wewe inategemea unataka ku trade nini. Kama unataka ku trade uh, let's say unataka ku trade index volatility index ya 75, utachagua ile aina ya kwanza kabisa ambayo ni synthetic account. Okay. Lakini kama unataka ku trade currencies, uh, utachagua utachagua ile nyingine. Okay sasa hapa baada ya kuimefunguka utakuja direct kwenye fungua account hapa. Okay, remu ngoja nikuzungushie ili ukaone vizuri. Utakuja juu kabisa hapa bila shaka umepaona baada ya neno Fpesa Tanzania hapa hivi. Okay? Bila shaka utakuwa umepaona. So ukisha kuja hapa uta click uh, then baada ya kume click itafunguka page ambayo ina maelezo is click so uta click hapo fungua account so yatakuja maelezo hapo chini uh, utaifungua hii post ya jinsi ya kufungua account unaona nikipeleka hapo inaweza inabadilika ina, ina rangi so unaweza ku click lakini before tujafungua mimi bwana nikuonyeshe kitu uh, katika hii website ya Fpesa Tanzania ukiachana na kufungua account kuna sehemu tunajifunza strategies kuna sehemu tunajifunza a jinsi ya kuweka pesa kama wewe ni mgeni ujue jinsi ya kuweka because unavofungua account kwa kupitia njia hii ya Fpesa Tanzania sisi tutakuwa na access na account yako tutaweza kukuwekea pesa na kukutolea pesa pia so kuweka pesa Mpesa tube pesa uh, kutoa pesa pia lakini pia kuna knowledge ya uh, affiliate pesa ifunze unaweza kukutana na analysis na vitu vingi 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 ambavyo vitakuelimisha so uh, twende moja kwa moja uta click jinsi ya kufungua account hapo uh, then um, utasoma hayo maelekezo ambayo nimetoka kukuambia sasa hivi uh, kama unahitaji ku trade currencies unaweza kufungua standard account au advanced lakini nakushauri fungue standard account unaweza kuona pia huku kuna banners uh, kuna banners za binary.com sisi ni agent wake and therefore some of the services pia tunapewa. Unaweza kuona kushoto pia kuna ukiwa na una scroll huku chini unaweza kukutana na page ya Facebook. Okay? This one. So tunachoposti pia Facebook unaweza kujifunza kupitia website hii. So utasoma haya maelekezo, vitu gani vinahitajika, kitambulisho cha NIDA, leseni ya dereva, passport na vitu vingine lakini pia bank statement. Ah, hivi vitu kwa sasa sio lazima sana kuweka moja kwa moja maybe kama unataka ku deposit kiasi kikubwa sana cha pesa ila kama ni dola 100 uh, aina uh, lazima sana kuweka so tutaenda direct utakuja hapa chini fungua account uta click baada ya kumefungua account uh, baada ya kume click fungua account tutafunguka page sasa na remember kwamba um, katika 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 kufungua hii stage ambayo tumepita unaweza kaenda direct kwenye description uka click na ukaweza kujifunza hicho kitu. So Fpesa Tanzania utaandika um, utaandika Fpesa Tanzania ndika email yako I mean usiandike hicho ambacho mimi nakiandika utaandika email yako okay ambayo uh, iko active baada ya kumeshaandika utakwambia umefungua demo account so that, that create kwanza free account so lazima utafungua kwanza 
lila lazima utafungua what we call a, a free account okay then utatumiwa email uh, katika 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 email yako okay so utaenda katika email yako kuangalia email inahusu nini na email hiyo utaenda ukaifungue sasa so tutafungua new tab tutakuja katika sehemu ya email kuna kuangalia kuna email gani ambayo imetumwa so hiyo hiyo ni stage ya kwanza kabisa okay lazima uende kwenye email kaangalia email gani imetumwa asikumbuki kama this email nimeiunganisha huku sio kama nimeiunganisha huku uh, let's check so kama ni kwenye simu ni unatumia the same stages Uh, unatumia stage hizi hizi lakini nawakumbusha kupitia website ambayo nimeonyesha mwanzoni kuna vitu vingine vingi tu ambavyo unaweza kuvifanya pia so it is very very easy so utakuja kwenye email zako hapo uh, utakuja uangalie uh, so si tutakuja kwenye email ya FPS Tanzania kuitafuta hiyo message uh, au hiyo email ambayo tumetumia okay So kupitia kuna watu ambao pia nilikuwa na wafundisha affiliate. Okay? Na video za affiliate unaweza kuona pia hapa kwenye website tunafanya affiliate. So this is our email. Sawa? Ndio email yetu utaifungua ambayo ina new. Okay? Baada ya kumeifungua Let me do this thing first. So um baada ya kuwa umefungua it means this problem mother na road lakini naona mtandao uko slow so um itafunguka road lakini naona mtandao uko very very slow okay so utakutana na code kama hii thank you for signing for virtual account so uta verify email yako kwamba ni yako kwa ku click hii link okay ta click hiyo link baada ya kuume click hiyo link itafunguka uh, na direct itakupeleka tena kwenye ukurasa wa wewe kuendelea sasa na usajili okay binary.com remember the first step unaweza kwenda kwenye link ambayo nimeweka kwenye description hapo au ambao wapo kwenye group la telegram then baada ya kuwa umeenda kule direct Uh, so um, hapo utakuja uta step ya kwanza kabisa uh, create your new virtual money account utaingiza password zako ambazo remember hizo password nitakuwa kuziweka kichwani kwa sababu utakuja uzitumie pia okay yeah so for example labda naweza uh, kuingiza kwanza cha kwanza lazima ujue kwamba hiyo 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 password inahitaji vitu gani okay lazima ujue hiyo password inahitaji vitu gani. Kwa mfano hapa wanasema minimum of six lower and upper case letters with numbers. Kwa lazima ujue. Lazima kuwe na rufu kubwa, rufu ndogo na namba pia. Hivyo vitu vikikosa that means hawezi wakakubali kuendelea na usajili. Okay. So uh, let me do this. So utaingiza password zako ambazo wewe unataka. Mm. Una, utaingiza password zako ambazo wewe unataka. Lakini remember lazima ziwe na 
Ziwe, 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 ziwe zimechanganya. Ziwe na namba. Ziwe na namba pamoja na herufi ndogo na herufi kubwa pia. Okay. So nitatumia keyboard hii ili uweze kuona. Ili uweze kuona. So hizi ni documents ambazo niliandaa. Okay. So that is the hiyo uh, hicho ni kitu ambacho nadhani kila mtu anaweza akakifanya. Ni kitu ambacho ni kirahisi mtu yeyote anaweza akakifanya. Kwa maana ya kwamba so, watu wengi hapa wanachanganya because wana 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 wanachanganya kwa sababu huwa wafuata hayo maelekezo ambayo nimetoka kuyasema hapo juu. Okay? So ni muhimu sana kufuata hayo maelekezo. So mtu maybe ataingiza password yake like uh, let me say ndio mm -hmm. tarudia hiyo hiyo ambayo umeijaza juu okay uta create new bacho unaweza ukasave labda ukasave password So kuna lila kuna lila account kuna virtual account utachagua upgrade okay virtual kuna virtual ambayo ni demo alafu kuna kuna lila so hapa tayari you have created your virtual account so step ya kwanza hiyo alafu utakuja kwenye lili account okay so kuna mister kama mimi ni mwanaume ni mister labda nitaandika of pesa ndio family name uh, maybe uh, flado anza na herufi kubwa sa majina unaanza na herufi kubwa kwa mfano first name maybe flado so family name FPS Siku ya kuzaliwa utajaza. So bila shaka siku ya kuzaliwa hapa mwaka anatakuwa badili. Mwaka utaandika mwaka mbaya. Maybe it is na saba. Si ndio? Okay. Maybe it is na saba. Mhm. Mm And this is Okay, taandika maybe 97 namba ya simu utaingiza labda 7549950520 Okay Make sure unaingiza namba ambayo ipo active muda huo Okay Uh then account opening reason hapa sasa ndo be very careful nitaandika speculative sawa kwa sababu wewe una trader as a single then first line hapa sasa kwenye kuandika zile address most of the guys wanakosea so address kama hapo for example unaweza kuandika tu namba sawa labda 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 47 second line sio kosa ukirudia hiyo hiyo usianze na neno PO box okay town or city or uh, maybe um chinyanga labda si ndio then state uh upper state unaweza kaweka um okay juu nimejea la chinyanga that means we can choose okay chinyanga zip code zip code sasa Uh, kuna video nimewahi kuweka hapa ya zip code sawa so, kila eneo lina zip code yake sasa i don't know if i can show you here lakini kila eneo lina zip code yake um i think i'll prepare other vi another video ila hiyo video okay hii video kwa sababu ipo hapa kwenye my youtube channel na nitaweka link yake kwenye description so utashuka kwenye description hapo ya video hii alafu utakutana na hiyo link okay 
maybe let's say uh Salasana Saba. Salasana Saba or any kind of number that can be Salasana Saba because we, we, we are just doing some exercise. Maybe he is there. Rafu, Bada Kume Jaza yo. Let's go up here. Yeah, hapa unakutana na hii ni kwa ajili ya security labda favorite the dish naandika labda makande ndio eh yeah, makande so baada ya kumemaliza hapa unashuka chini tutashuka chini kuangalia sasa uh, pbs individual who is uh, has uh, been interested is prominent probability function this extends so see it's okay one to talk knowledge ever okay yeah that means the account now from when i go and i share yeah that i have already that's all my mother has already after we do that work at each people number of to make up for you then to click open account Okay. It will open account. It will load. Uh, then, but I come open account. You can you can proceed. So we are going to set calends and go to the who trade here here. Okay. So let's Another thing hapa baada ya kuwa umesha hapo tayari tumesha create lil account. Na tayari namba tumepewa zile kule. Naziona. Nikikwambia unapokuwa unataka kuweka hela nikakwambia nitumie CR namba. Unatuma vitu hivi huku. Kuja na kuonyesha hapa. Huku kwenye kona huku. Kulia huku. Natuma hivi vitu. Natuma hiki kitu. Okay, iki kitu. Okay, tunachuanza na CR. Iyo ndo namba ambuwa natakuwa nitumie. Si nitumie namba nyingine. Sawa? So, that is natakuwa kunitumia. So, kwenye kuseti currency haba, only account ambuwa sisi as FPSA Tanzania tunaweza kukuekea ni account ya USD. Kuhota chagua haba chini, USD. Let me show you. Kuja tufanya, kwenye ni mwonyesha. Dono kama hote meona, waja ni wachole yu, yu USD, ambo yuko chini kabisa hapa, because we are not the same. I believe kuna yungina utakua waja yiona. So, mtachola mshale ya, okay, this one. Okay, yu ndo natakua ku, kuchagua. Kisha chagua that one, means itakuja hapa, then utapiga yes. Okay. So this is cash here. Uh, your fiat account is currently set to USD. Uh, you can set a new currency before you deposit. So make sure, kwa ni kwamba, kama ukisha set kwa mfano pale labda euro. 
alafu ka deposit waste na ukabadili okay waste na ukabadili so wewe ukitaka ku deposit uh, maana yake utatoa uh, information kwetu sasa kwamba nataka kuweka pesa kiasi fulani then sisi tutakuwekea hiyo pesa sume nielewa tutakuwekea hiyo pesa okay tutakuwekea vipi utatuma siara namba yako ambayo nimekuonyesha hapo okay then baada ya kumetua tuma siara namba utatuma jina lako ambalo umelitumia huku baada ya kumetuma hilo jina ambalo umelitumia huku then uh, unaweza uh, tuka, tunaweza tukakuwekea direct ile pesa yako baada ya wewe huko umetutumia sisi tunaelewana mpaka hapo tutaweka pia link ya group ambalo unakuwa utakuwa unapata pia some informations kwa urahisi so ukitaka ku deposit uweze uka click hapa moja kwa moja kwa sababu ukiklick hapa moja kwa moja utapewa maelekezo ya 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 utapewa sasa maagent usika kwa mfano sisi fpesa Tanzania ni hawa hapa mshoni kabisa hapa okay Uki click hapo utaletewa fpesa Tanzania ambayo sisi ni hawa hapa unaweza kaona amount ambayo tuna 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 hiyo accounts ambayo tuna deposit ni account ambazo ni USD account tu unaweza kaona maelekezo yote hapo na kupitia this link unaweza ukajiunga ukajiunga kwenye group yetu la Telegram okay kupitia hiyo link unaweza ukajiunga kwenye group la Telegram okay this link here this link here okay kupitia hii link unaweza kujiunga kwenye group letu la Telegram bila tatizo kabisa and other things uh, zinaweza zikafanyika as usual so hapo utapata tu maelekezo ya jinsi ya ku deposit remember unatoa information before ujaweka hiyo pesa okay tupe taarifa kwamba unahitaji kuweka pesa unaelewana lakini ukihitaji ku withdraw ukihitaji ku withdraw then Uh, unaweza ukaja uka withdraw au uh, click ile button ya 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 hapa ya, ya withdraw okay ukaja kwenye button ya withdraw ila because una deposit yoyote uh, ni ngumu wewe ku withdraw umeelewana mpaka hapo kwa from there sasa wewe tayari utakuwa like uh, upo same nzuri kwa sababu tupo same ya cashier kwa cashier ni same ambayo inahusika na deposit statements hapa utakuwa unaangalia your account kama me trade jana unaangalia profit history in short okay umeelewana mpaka hapo yeah yeah sio kama tumeelewana lakini hizi ni platform ambazo unaweza ukatradea pia uh, kupitia 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 huyu jamaa uh, portfolio you, you come into your account no open positions make a deposit na unahitaji uh, ku deposit hapo okay lakini ukitaji kuangalia profile yako remember tujaweka zile bank statement na nini ila still tayari account yako hapa iko active unaweza ka deposit na ukaendelea ku trade kama kawaida ukihitaji sasa kama we ni trader ambaye you believe kwamba ni you have a vision na unaweza kuwa na account kubwa tu some days au unaweza kaja hapo kwenye settings sio kama umefaona hapo kwenye settings unaweza kaja hapo kwenye settings let me show you hapa Sorry. Click ya hapo settings. Baada ya kuwa click settings, utaona hivi vitu vitatu. Kuna personal details. Sawa. Okay. Kuna financial assessment, kuna authentication. Sawa, kumalizia kabisa account yako. Kija kwenye personal ndio hizo ambazo tumejaza. Sio tunaelewana, hizo information ambazo ni personal. Okay kwa hiyo information zako zote ambazo ni za kwako sasa umri umezaliwa lini na vitu vingine vyote ndio hapa nita click personal details so utakuja ujaze hapa first name okay maybe uh, maybe una utaandika maybe francis who sio nani nani okay ila hapo tushajaza kwa hiyo you don't need to change anything utajaza kila kitu a citizenship okay is chagua mimi ni bongo okay mhm mm vitu vingine uta, uta assess hapo utaangalia utaangalia uh, then uh, utakuja utafanya update 
Okay. So unaweza kama kuna vitu haviko sawa unaweza ukarudi baadaye inaga shida okay hizi personal details so uta, utakuja utamalizia sometimes uh, unavokuna jaza zile 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 address sawa so, uh, zile address uh, wanaweza wakakata ile PO box au wakakubali okay okay hapa kwenye details sawa so, brokers wana tofautiana so, some brokers unavokuna jazz ukiona wanakataa kuna wengine hapo ukiweka mfano ile p mfano hii nimejijazia tu i think that's why wanakataa kuna kama wanaandika maneno yao kuna mtu ataandika p o yo box sc Okay some blockers wao wanakataa hiki kitu nakupa kwa sababu I know before mimi nimefungua account nyingi sana Okay confirm na hapo ta click hivi Unaona PO box is not accepted Sawa huyu huyu bainer anakataa so utakuja utafuta Okay utafuta hizi Utafuta uh, then utazifuta then utaingiza zip code baada ya kuumeshaingiza zip code make sure zip code inakuwa zip code ambayo ipo because these guys i believe watakuwa ni watu hata address unaingiza address ambayo ipo because i believe those guys wanakuwa wana, wana hivi vitu ni automated kwa hiyo they know kiweka kitu ambacho hakipo that means kwamba watajua tu kwamba ambacho umejaza hakipo because hivi vitu ni ni, ni 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 more more about vimekaa zaidi ki teknolojia zaidi naelewana mpaka hapo ya kwa hiyo watajua tu kwamba ambacho umejaza wewe ni something ambayo haipo okay yeah so i've been updated so tayari usha update hizo settings kama ulikuwa unataka kubadili jina sivi nini uh, zip code na vitu vingine si ndio so hii address imejaza tu ndo maana wameshindwa kuelewa. Kwa utajaza address ambayo ipo. Okay? Mbo unayo. Ya kanisani ya wapi anywhere. Okay? Bila shaka tumeelewana. Siwezi nikajaza address yangu because of some other reasons. Okay. So tutarudi nyuma tutamalizia zile sehemu nyingine. Remember hii sehemu ya kwanza ndo tulikuwa tumeanza kuijaza. Utakuja financial assessment hapa. Hapa ndo utaanza kuulizwa kiasi cha source of income, si ndio? Um self employed employment status self employed kama ni nani li mwanake utarudia hiyo hiyo industry of employment uh, maybe education so occupation ni wewe ni kama nani pale uh, maybe manager okay uh, source of wealth mm utaandika accumulation of income and saving okay kwamba ile pesa ambayo unalipwa wewe unaiweka level of education uh, maybe hapa lazima kidogo uandike elimu ya juu tashle okay sio primary mzee utajiuliza wewe manager gani primary net annual income uh, maybe hapa dola 25 mpaka hiyo estimated net worth okay maybe uh, utatokuja utajaza they don't care. Ila kama unafungua account kama kina IG wale wa Marekani, wao wanaangalia. Ukijaza amount ndogo because wana leverage ndogo. Leverage kama ya 150. Okay? Sasa uweze ukaingia mle na dola 100 yako alafu. They know it is risk. Okay? So, uh unaweza ukarudia kama juu hapo. Anticipated turn, uh, turnover, estimated net worth. We jaza. So, so go pay that does no any effect unakuja una update so so tayari hii ukiona tu hapa your changes have been updated najua kabisa mambo yako fresh okay then unakuja ya mwisho hii authentication hapa ndo utakuja uanze 
Okay, so now you do not need the authentication account at this time. We will inform you when your account needs to be authentication. The Kutuma bank statement, so passport na ibile vitu vingine. Malala number up. So, so yeah. So back to trading. So click back to trading. Bila shaka utakume ni leo. Kitaka kujia kuisi draw. Utakujia hapa kwenye cash ya. Sujika muna paona hapa. Ok. Hapa. Mbapo uku juu kuna trade, kuna portfolio, kuna profit table, kuna statement, kuna cash ya. Utakujia kwenye cash ya hapa. Uta click. Bada kuma click utakujia uisi draw. Utaka kuweka utakui kujia uku. Utaka kudeposit. Una nitafuta mimi. Ok. Email. Mi kwenye fpesa tanzania to gmail.com Mwazu kajiunga kwenye group kwa chini nitaeka link Ujitwa kwa isi draw ndo utakuja hapa isi draw But now amna pesa la yote so you cannot with draw Utantumia siyara namba mboni hii huku USD account Remember kufungua USD account Ok So ukisha maliza hapo uneza ukaja Ili sasa kumalizia account yako kabisa Kufanya finish Ok ya account yako, manake kuspecify kwa mba account yako ni ipi, so sakati ya zile tatu. Sao, utakuja hapa, utakuja hapa, zasha kumepaona hapa, kuna kimshale hapa, ok, ito kimshale ndo utaki click, na zasha kumekiona hapo, ito kimshale chapembeni hapo bada ya siya na namba hiki, kuna joshuka chini, utaklik, bada kumekiklik ito, Ok, you can come here kwenye MetaTrader, neno MetaTrader, bila shako miliona. Let me repeat kwa hala mbao wa jaona. Ding, neno MetaTrader hili ya MetaTrader. Sio create account MetaTrader, then utakuja hapa kwenye Lil. Ok, kwenye Lil, that is the first step, then utakuja kuchagua account. Fano wataka kutrade nini sasa, wataka kutrade account. Currencies. Ia kwanza, mba tuweleweshane vizuli kabisa. Watu wengo wanadhani sui hukwa utredi na nili. Una hii ya kwanza, synthetic indices. Ok. Hapa unatredi what we call volatility index zile, boom, clash, step index. Saa. Lakini ukija hapa, Una trade currencies, Euro USD, USD JPY na zingine. Kwenye advanced pia currencies hizo hizo zipo. Utafungua melezo watakupa. Menelewa, so utachagua ambayo we unaona, unataka kufanya. Kama unaitaji kutrade currencies, una spread njuri tu. Not like templar. Ok, utaklik ya hapo standard. Unataka kutrade currencies, utapiga next. Jina, hilo, 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 main password, utaingiza. Saa, naika utaingiza password yenye ni mwisa usi nilijenza nini. Kumbuki nilijenza nini. Let me see. I think this way ni kasa uki zembe yu. Okay. Are you sure we will not be able to change your fiat account currency after creating MT5 account? Except you will create account here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, MT5. So, I will be able to yes. I will be able to change your fiat account currency after creating MT5 account. So, I will be able to change your fiat account currency after creating MT5 account. Okay. So, I will be able to change your fiat account currency after creating MT5 account. I will be able to change your fiat account currency. So, MT5 account, namba yake ni hii. Sasa remember, watu ndo hapa wana ni changani. Ukitaji kuwekewa account, bivel kia, mbu nisikilize vizuri. Ukitaji kuwekewa pesa, ustume hizi MT5 login. Usintumie hii hapa. Usintumie hii. Hii namba yu miya na tatu. Sa, hii, usitume hii hapa. Okay, don't send this one. Don't send this one. Hii utaitumia ukitaka kuingia MT5. Yani ukitaka kurog. Hii ni kwenye MT5. Utaombo pale 
login ndio utaingiza hiyo sawa na password ambao umeziingiza huko nyuma ambazo nilikuwa naziingiza nimezirudia zote zile hii tumeelewana mpaka hapa sasa kama huyu mtu alifungua si lile account lakini ni nini ni standard akataka kufungua nyingine ambayo ata trade index maana yake synthetic atakuja kwenye neno unaloliona hapo ambao ni hili hapa new account okay ata click hapo baada ya kuwa ame click new account then ataenda kufungua atafuta procedure zile zile new account atakuja lil account sawa then baada ya hapo atakuja atachagua nini synthetic account then ata click next atakuja ajaze password sisi tumeelewana alafu ata create account ata, ata, ata password ya main na verify main password kwa password ya hapa na hapa so unaweza kuwa na account alafu zikawa mbili tofauti kisha click tu hapa tayari create account kisha jaza zile password unaweza kurudia zile zile au katengeneza zingine ya na kushauri tumia zile zile ili usijo ka kachanganya lakini hii main password na verify main password lazima zifanane na lazima ziwe about 8 ziwe nane na kuendelea maana yake kuwa na namba rufu ndogo na kubwa umeelewana then una click account create account tayari utakuwa umecreate account nyingine so hiyo account itaongezeka sawa so, itaongezeka kwenye zile kwenye 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 that account hapa hiyo utakuwa ukiclick hapa ukiclick hapa utakuwa unakutana na account nyingine sawa so, standard standard account of the synthetic index naelewana mpaka hapo so most of the guys wananiulizaga sana hii kufungua sasa remember uh, kuna watu pengine ukihitaji ku baada ya kuwa umewekewa pesa umenitumia sera namba yako na jina nikakuwekea pesa yako huwa haiingii kwenye MT5 account inaingia kwenye CR yani ile neno CR hapa hivi unaona uh, kwenye CR account kwenye CR account ile neno CR chini tuliona na dola 00 so kwa sababu na account za aina mbili. Sawa? Na, na hii ni faida pia. Kwa mfano kama unahitaji ku trade unaweza kupunguza unaona account ya kwanza ni hapa ni binary account. Sawa? Kuna account nyingine hapa, real standard account. Unaelewa? Hii ya kwanza ni CR account au binary account, alafu hii ndio ya MT5. Unaisikia? Kwa hiyo ukiwekea pesa hiyo itaingia hapa sawa itaingia hapa kwenye kwenye binary account kwenye CR so tatakuwa kuihamisha unaelewa unaihamisha vipi hicho ndo kitu ambacho ni cha msingi kabisa unaihamisha vipi hicho ndo kitu cha msingi katika kuku so tarudi huku chini ili kuweza kuihamisha kuna transfer to MT5 hapa maana yake utaingiza amount hapa kwenye transfer to MT5 it means kwamba pesa nimekuwekea kwenye account ipo kwenye binary account nataka kuipeleka kwenye MT5 account. Tumeelewana mpaka hapa. Ndio utakuja hapo utabonyeza transfer to MT5. Ila kama unahitaji ku withdraw, sawa? Ile pesa mimi siwezi nika withdraw kama ipo MT5. Utahitaji kuipeleka kwenye CR account. Kwa hiyo uta, utaenda procedure kama hizo unazofanya then utakuja hapa kwenye uh, kwenye withdraw from MT5 utaingiza amount click hapa moja kwa moja ile pesa itaenda kwenye binary account kwenye hii kwenye this 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 account hapo juu bila shaka tutakuwa tumeelewana okay so that is it it is very very easy kufungua account unaelewa kwa wale ambao walikuwa nauliza mimi nilifungua synthetic nataka ni trade uh, uh, nini currencies unafuata the same procedures ambazo nimetoka kuzisema hapo bila shaka nimeeleweka vizuri vizuri kabisa kwa wale ambao wanahitaji kujua jinsi ya ku uh, jinsi ya ku kupata zile zip code uh, i can do it here then tunaweza tukaifanya hapa haraka haraka tcra naweza kuandika tcra alafu zile zinaitwa nini zip codes hizo zinaitwa sio zina jina zingine na hata zip code okay naweza kuandika hivyo uh, then utaenda utafungua kwenye website yao pale kuangalia ambacho ni kitu cha msingi sana
Okay. ya kwanza kabisa Tanzania communication the great thing. Ta click hapa. Hapa litakuja tu sehemu na kuomba mkoa wako wewe unaishi wapi? Okay. Unajaza ukijaza unaletewa wilaya na nini na vitu vyote. Full list can be found here. Soma tu maelekezo afu naweza kuona. Mm. Unaweza kuona unachagua sasa mkoa ambao unataka ye. Kwa mfano, say Mtwara. Nita click Mtwara. Unaweza kuona sasa zinakuja. Click Mtwara zinakuja hizo 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 places za Mtwara hizo. Okay. Click here. So you utaja uta, baada ya kumechagua mtwara huwa zinakuja zinakuja gepu ambalo wewe unahitaji kama ni ni, ni Tabora au anywhere ukisha click pale zinakuja wilaya wewe utaangalia sasa uko wapi uko wilaya gani lakini the easiest way unaweza kutumia simu simu haisumbui like here uh, unaenda direct itakuja hizi zip code kama ambavyo unaona that is the easiest way ya wewe kufanya so asante sana kwa kunisikiliza uh, next time ya, yeah. ikisho na subscribe, na like, na comment pia, sa kushare. Thanks.